the one thing I would like the public to know about the Sonoma County Historical Society is that it's actively engaged in, in preserving the history in many, many forms of Sonoma County and that the activities are varied. They aren't just, as one might think, limited to books and limited to documents. Uh, some years ago, the Society was involved in working on the Rosenberg Building here in Santa Rosa, uh, a very notable um, piece of, of architecture of the earlier decades of the 20th century. It was in jeopardy of, of being uh, abandoned and torn down. Uh, the Sonoma County Historical Society took a lead at that time to ensure that this building's importance architecturally and historically was appreciated in Sonoma County. And the happy result of it was that the Rosenberg Building was not only retained, but it was uh, found a new purpose. It is now a bookstore and is thriving and is wonderfully restored and is a real, a real treat for the eye. The Sonoma County Historical Society has been in existence for about 40 years. The chief thing it's continuously done is to publish a journal called the Sonoma County Historian. And in it, this quarterly will have articles, each quarterly edition, um, about Sonoma County history, either buildings or about people of interest in the community or about the general history of the county. I'm the uh, editor of the Sonoma County Historian, which is the Journal of the History Society, which we've been putting out since the 1960s. I also uh, have the task of saving uh, those some of those issues, or hopefully all of them, uh, and uh, in that role I'm the archivist for the group. So we try to change, save some of the materials that we've uh, gotten in the past. The historian uh, I've been doing for the last two years, we've got a whole series of editors. We took a lead about five years ago in, in trying to ensure that the remnants of the Carrillo adobe here in Santa Rosa were not um, damaged severely in any development that would be taking place around it. There had been, at the time, uh, an attempt to develop it with apartments or condominiums. Uh, that currently is on hold for any number of reasons. And we are keeping a very vigilant eye on this to see down the road when this, these efforts are continued that uh, we are there to ensure that the property will not be unduly harmed. It is thought that it was placed on this on that spot because of its prominence in an earlier period of time where probably there was an assistencia mission set up by the Sonoma mission that in due course if California had continued along the that track it may have been ultimately the last mission there is some reason to think. The property where the Carrillo adobe is located is is of unparalleled archaeological and historical importance. And that's why the Sonoma County Historical Society took it upon itself some years ago to be a, a vigorous supporter of efforts to see that whatever development had to come would be of minimal damage to the property. I found the cemetery in 2001 while I was writing a history of all Sonoma County cemeteries and realized that it was the largest overgrown cemetery in the county and the only public one. In 2003, I approached the county to see about restoring it. We started working with volunteers and raising money through contributions from the public. And now, five years later, the cemetery has been restored and will be rededicated. The people who are buried up in the old cemetery are just ordinary people. They are not uh, uh, drunks or criminals or, or anything like that. They're mostly just people who had the bad luck to die without any money, and so the county buried them. Also buried up there are about 100 Chinese who were there purely because of prejudice. They were considered to be pagans and they were not allowed in the private cemeteries in Sonoma County. Learning history is of value in that it, it places us in time, it places us in context, it makes us think in terms of the flow of history 
And my own personal view is that that often leads to a greater sense of civic involvement and, and civic responsibility. And I think that breeds a very healthy uh, sense of obligation in a very good way f with, between individuals and their communities. Thank you.